Hello everybody, my name is Simulation for the Nation and welcome back to Hot Belderon, where today we are doing some huge changes to our farmyard. We're going to make this look even more, uh, or feel even more like a British farm, I think would be the best way to describe it. Uh, what that means is that we need to do a lot of moving around, but before we can do that, first thing we had to do was get rid of these cows. So the cows have gone out to pasture, we're going to kick them up to some grassland that we've, we've bought temporarily, uh, and we'll be able to keep, eye, keep an eye on that one. Uh, so there's already the one the masses are already away. Uh, we've got uh, the fen that we've got in demo. Uh, we've got one more load of nine cattle in this big trailer, and then we'll get those away. Some of the other machines are out there finishing up a contract. Uh, we were harvesting the combine, had to come back just to get a bit more diesel in it before that goes off to the next one. And we've got another contract ready to go there, but we're going to focus on this. Now we've also removed this fed and removed the hedge line here. We've got a few stumps to grind out because we felled some trees. Stump grinders on the back of the massey over there. Uh, because we're going to try and shift everything around in here a little bit. Make it... Uh, it's going to have a completely different layout, but I think it could work. So we're going to have a, a bit of a blast of that in just a moment. The first thing we need to do is... Uh, let's go and get rid of these cattle. Now, like I say, the 3670 is uh, taking itself away there. It's not going very quickly, but it's ahead of us. So we will uh, we'll go and play catch-up. So we bought a placeable pasture. We put that down into a grass field there. And that's going to do us for now. Just to get the cattle out of the place. It holds about 60. We've even got 45. We're going to be upgrading the size of our cattle shed as well. Which will allow us to get a little bit more. Uh, well, a lot not more cattle in there. I think it goes up to 100 actually. So that would be really good if we can get up to that level. Just to give us a little bit more to work on really. Uh, I think we might have a tractor and trailer in there still. That is the, the field that we've just finished. And now we're actually moving just down to the other one. Uh, over by the grain dryer there, so that should be good. But yeah, lots have lots of things happening here. I've had an idea of how we're going to make the we're going to be changing up the fleet soon. Uh, there's a plan in place for that. Looks like we've got a, a bit of a chat with a local dealer, so we were able to uh, get some higher purchase agreements in place, and uh, we will be looking good. So it's going to be an exciting uh, little while there, actually. Now, all of this is an aid, of course, of us being able to build up and develop up and develop up. So when a, a, another good British map comes along, we can jump onto that one. But yeah, for right now, at least we're going to keep pushing away with this. Uh, and off we go. Yeah, this is taken. This is load number five. We're taking up to the, the cattle field. Uh, nice to have a second place to put them. It'll just be for a day or two. Uh, we haven't taken any water or any hay up there yet, but we can. And the main thing is just to get them up there out of the way for now. I wanted something a bit closer, but it just wasn't going to happen. Now, what we're likely going to do is we should have just leased that field. Uh, there is a field leasing mod out there. We should have just done that, but we didn't. We bought the field, so we will just sell the field straight off again when we're all said and done. I uh, want to make sure that looks good. But for right now, like I say, just need to get this, uh, get the cattle out. It was the easiest way to do it. Now, we're going to keep the, the muck heap is going to stay in its location. Uh, now, I'm imagining we're going to... Yes, we have to do a little bit of a speedy overtake. Of course, I've got a, a 50k box on the go here. And then now the old Massey there is very much crumbling along at the, with a 50, with a 30. So, looks like we have to do a bit of a lovely cheeky hill overtake. This is for you sports fans out there. Ooh, are we? Maybe that hill's going to be a bit too much for us. These are the Ponji trailers. These are great livestock trailers. Quite long. So whilst you can't get nine cattle in per per load, some gateways were a little challenging. I had to put two gates into our field here just so we could have a, a slight chance of getting in. But uh, yeah, let's figure this out. We're going to just cruise up the hill. Lovely old stuff. And we'll, we'll see. And uh, well, we'll see how it goes. See what uh, what takes you beautiful day for it all anyway we've finished up mowing down some hay as well uh that's just wilting at the moment we'll probably once we finish with the stump grinder we'll get the massey out just to throw that around with the tether uh and all should be good oh we're gonna go for it folks on the blind hill yes see you later losers I yeah, love this fence actually. Uh, we put this on the mower there, as you saw in the last episode. We've got a lot done that way uh, with the mower. And uh, yeah, I really do like this a lot. We're trying to use this on as many different tasks as we can at the moment. But yeah, I, I do believe that uh, there's going to be a few positive changes around fence coming very soon. So that should be exciting to see. 
now we're going to like i say two different ways that we can get into this field i uh, know the mast is going to go around one way uh, i put the fence up around it just to make it feel a little bit more uh, realistic really but uh we're just gonna go to here and then the cutler in there looking good and we're just gonna sling into our gateway just here Take it nice and slow. You get nice and square up to it. There you are. Perfect. So the cattle are looking good. Enjoying being out in the grass, that's for sure. We do just need to come all the way down to here. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, that's okay. And Massey's going to come around the other fence, the other gateway there. That's fine. Excuse me, lady. Coming through. You'll have to see it. We should be good somewhere around here, I think. So we'll just get this all... I might just turn it around and we'll get these cattle out. And then we'll be... Uh, get the mass in. Do a bit of a shuffle around. That's it. The cattle are moved. Eee, there you go. All right. So we've got nine cattle in here, like I say. Let's get all nine out from the fence. That's that one done. Looking good. Let's move this forward a little touch. lovely time of the year to get the cattle out there really is nice so we're a little bit late to it this time of year to be honest there but they've uh they've had a little bit of grassland at home anyway so that shouldn't be too too bad and uh, we'll leave you there for right now jump uh and then we'll get this one done this massey will probably just go straight uh we'll probably keep these trailers actually for a little bit because we are gonna have to bring the cattle home uh so that's something to consider we need to get ourselves home and do a little bit of landscaping work and then we'll sell off the current pen that we have there. We don't need that anymore so we can get that ri get rid of that and then look at bringing in the, the new one really and see where that goes. There's the last nine. Move to husbandry. Boom! The cows are out. So I'd really like to get to about 100 cattle if I could. That's the, uh, that's the goal here. Then we'll just shut this gate as well. Perfect stuff. All right, so main job done, which is handy. We're going to get ourselves back down to the yard there, get a bit of moving around and might even stick this massey onto the uh, tether by the time we get home. Uh, but yeah, we'll all be looking good. Okie dokie then. So we just checked in with some of the other workers as well. They're all doing the thing. Uh, we have the Deutz is currently grain cart in there. That's going to go down to the new field where we've got the header trailer waiting for the combine. The combine will, will move across once we've finished just servicing that up there. It's getting a little bit of a grease up whilst we're at the yard. Uh, Massey's going to go back. We'll get some stumps ground out. We'll figure that bit out there and then we can return the stump grinder. And then we need to do a bit of logistical work. We're going to place down our new building for our cattle. We'll leave the cattle up there for another day or so. We'll leave them into September. Uh, and then we can, uh, yeah, get everything ready for those guys. We're probably going to get some more calves coming in as well, just to, to really help us out a bit there. And then, like I say, yeah, onto some hay. Get that tied around. Throw about maybe this evening in there, so we'll look to get that bailed up tomorrow. There's some straw that we can get bailed as well. I'm tempted to stick the the fence here onto the bale, just to see how that handles it. Uh, 724 should be more than adequate enough for that job. Uh, but yeah, it's always good to have a bit of a play around with that and just have a look-see. And then, yeah, the Massey 8S is on the drill. And now, I'll, if we do go for this fleet change that we're looking into, uh, we're likely going to keep the 8S. But everything else will be going. Uh, and then we also need to very shortly think about produce. There's a wagon load that's going to have to go away very soon. Uh, there's a heap of flour in there. An absolute boatload of the stuff. Uh, so we should hopefully see a little bit more produce coming out there soon in terms of bread and cakes. Uh, I thought you were crossing the road there. So yeah, everything is coming up rosy, really. We're really trying to make the most of all of the, uh, um, of all of our resources that we have right now. So that's good. And now we're just going to sling it into here. I do like this command console here. It's got everything you need on here now. Brilliantly well laid out. Oh, gone are the days from like two, uh, manual spool valves there and a, a draft lever, but still really cool to see so the we're combining just over there now uh not too far away 
I had looked into the idea of how I can go through this ground and actually uh, put hedges around everything. I'm still looking to do that as well. I will have to see. It'll take a little bit of a work up there though. I don't want to buy every field because I want to keep the contracts going. That's crucial, really. I would like to do that. Okay, so... What we'll do is, because we don't necessarily need this right now... Oh, there's our doids going back. I'll just get out of his way here. Lovely stuff. Got a new milk tanker as well. Went for a, a rigid body rather than a, a dolly. I think that should work out better for us in the long run. Uh, we're not going to stick anything here because I think we're going to need that. Let's move that Massey out of the way. Space is something we're still working on at the moment, so I don't particularly want to stick anything anywhere. But we will be going into there soon. We're going to have a few uh, fallen trees around here to tidy up sooner rather than later, but we can get to that. Uh, we've got a few produce that we need to go and pick up as well. Lots happening. Uh, let's just reverse this up to that. Oh, and there's the Massey. It went the long way around for some reason. We'll stick this way back up here beyond where this fan is, which I should be coming up to about here. There you go. I think I just hit it. Never mind. I tried to get into GE and change that, but I need to do some work investigations with GE. Because uh, all I could see was the collisions for some reason. I'm probably just not doing something right. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, we can stick this here for now. Plenty of room to get past there. Love it. I might actually look to keep one of these big trailers. They're the handy. We needed two just to get everything done. Uh... So I think this fence is going to go onto the baler now, like I say there. We'll get that all teed in. And then we'll get the Massey there. One of the Masseys is just on its way back. We can get that stuck onto the tether. Uh, so yeah, we're lots of work to get cracking along with. We've also got quite a few drilling contracts. So we're going to pick up a... I've got an idea to uh, go and grab a load of seed. And then we'll have to uh, get that Massey away. But all right. Uh, there should be a another Massey in here somewhere. Let's just stop that one from blocking everything up. Now we've got a little bit more straw to bail. We're going to keep a few more bales because we're going to up our own uh, numbers, but most of them will be sold with that lot over there. Uh, thinking of selling it probably in the next month or two, but it'll stand outside. It'll, it'll do no harm out there. Uh, and then for now. We'll landscape all this back up when we're done. There's our little pile of fallen trees that we'll deal with. Uh, like I say, we're going to keep the muck heaps there. That should be fine. Uh, let's stop you. Now I think we're in a good enough place where we can just sell off this building and then see what real estate we've got left. I do want to try and put another machinery shed in as well, if that will permit. But uh, that might be another episode. We're going to start with what we can do with the cattle shed here. So first thing we have to do is just go and pair out these... Uh, stumps. No, I think there's only two or three, so it shouldn't take us too long. There's one, and there's two. Rather handily, it all queued into the joystick here as well, so I do need to see what I'm doing. And then we can extend that out a little bit like that, get it away from the tractor. But that first one has been done anyway. Nice and handily. Back we come for number two. Wonderful, that's done as well. Mincing through here with ease. Hey, look at that, we're done. Go 
Yeah, let's just stick out that. Perfect stuff. Okie dokie. All right, so now the big stuff. Let's get rid of what we can here. Uh, we're just going to make a save. Perfect. Now we do know that this ground, the yard here is nice and flat anyway, so it shouldn't cause us any further problems. But at this point, we can come into here. And we're going to get 116,000 for that, which is lovely. Uh, again, this we can figure all out there. That's not a problem. I'll, I'll arrange that when I need to. But, so the, we're going to go, as we look at our animals here, we're sticking in this guy here, I think, which has got 100 uh, cow capacity now. Um, and it's going to be, you just need to figure out which way I want to put it. Now, my thought process was that I'm going to stick, I'm going to keep this little, uh, a bit of a pathway, a track up here. And maybe, I still want to have plenty of space in which to get around the far side here. Which I think I have. Uh, we don't want to make sure it's nice and square though. Wait, I can change the color of this? Ooh, I can. I like the green though. Okay. Like I say, I want to stick that back there a little bit as well. Now, I've got a... If I put it like that, I have a track that we can leverage. Uh... Or that my feed and passage can go straight through there and then straight out, which I think would work nicely. Uh, it looks fairly straight there as well, but still give me plenty of room to get around to get uh, to be able to muck everything out, which is also what you want. So I'm going to probably change that gate out as well. And what I'm thinking of, I just need to see I've got enough space because I want to put another machine shed in it where that little orange tractor shed is at some point. So we should. If I put that about there. It should give me enough space, I think. Sim. Uh, and then we can always do a little bit of change around. Let's have a look see. Wowzers, that's a big shed. Oh, baby. All right. So I think at some point there, we're going to stick. We're going to put something here, uh, which will make this yard a little bit more twisty and narrow. But I like that. Uh, good heavens, is this big. Wow, okay. A little bit of space here to work with. I don't mind that at all. We'll tidy all this bit up. The muck keeper's still there. Still got a muck in it as well. Cool. Uh, do I need to be in here? Yes. The first thing I need to do is move this, I would suggest. See if I can pick that up. I have to stop it. Is that what needs to happen here? Oh, there you go. I mean, I can pick that bit up. I can. Hey, there you go. Tidy in. Okay. Good, 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 good. So, that log gets shredded through at some point there. What we'll look to do right now, let's just get this tidied up a little bit here. Uh, so... Okay, that's looking better there. Let's get rid of all this bit. And then this bit here. And then we're going to stick our fencing back up on that side as well. Wonderful. Still going to keep that little storage area in the corner. I like that. No intention of getting rid of it anytime soon. But what we can do is just bring in a little bit of decoration here as well. Uh, ooh, I can get rid of that. That's a good time to do it.
There you go. And then, okay. Alright, so now we have... We just need to get rid of this inside here as well, I guess. Uh, but we're starting to get there. Starting to come together a little bit more. Uh, let's go for concrete. One's actually going to be able to get that interior there. But we'll figure that one out anyway. And then I think... Well, we've got a shed. We can bring cattle back into it now, which is handy. I like that an awful lot. Um, huge shed as well. Massive, which is great. I like that. So everything should come into there. We'll have to move these trailers around, obviously. But a little bit of space that we can stick some stuff down here. And this will be a secondary entrance into the farm. That's fine. I like that. Uh, we've got a, a different gate on there. A gate that's look, perhaps a little bit more fitting. Uh, and then, yeah, what we need to do is just some point we can tidy up all of this little mess along here as well uh, but i think that's uh that's looking handy now like i say what we are going to be looking to do as well is get ahead with what's going on in here i think at some point soon we'll have this shed removed i'm going to put a, probably a little bit more of a, uh, a practical machinery shed along with that one uh, just so we can store a few other bits and pieces there because we are expanding uh so we want to factor that in uh, and then, yeah, we're looking all right, really. That's going to stay as just a, a bale shed, really. We're going to keep filling that with straw uh, and hay. And then we'll take it from there. But yeah, lots of work to do in the fields now as well. So we're going to get cracking along with that one. But we'll leave it here for the the cattle shed, at least. The cattle have been moved out there. They've got the new shed to come back to. And it's been quite a productive little day. So until next time, thank you very much for watching as always. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't, you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more from me, Simulation for the Nation. And we'll see you all in the next one. Catch you later.